Okay, so now we are going to learn how to use the Statum Autoclave. Um, so again, I'm going to start by showing you um, where a few of the key switches and buttons that you might need to access. Okay, so the power switch for the Statum. Okay. So the power switch is on the rear of the machine, um, way down here toward the bottom. It's just a little flip switch right here. Okay, and you will know that that is on, um, actually there is a green light on the front of the Statum that will illuminate green to let you know that you do have power. And also your LCD display will also have some words on it. The water reservoir, okay, so your water reservoir is right on the top here. Um, so you just simply lift that, lift that cover and that's where you'll be filling the distilled water. The cassette, the cassette is just right here. So this is the bottom part of the cassette and then the top part locks into place right here. And then you just simply close that and pinch it shut, and then this arm goes right across the top. The waste water bottle and heating element. Okay, this is your waste water bottle, and the heating element is just this coil that goes right inside the bottle. The LCD display. Your LCD display is right here, so this is going to tell you um, what cycle you're running, if it's complete, things like that. The keypad. Okay. Your keypad are just these buttons right here. Um, so you'll notice that they have little diagrams on them. The start and stop are labeled. And then these four are all for various cycles. So primarily we'll be using the unwrapped, which has a little hemostat and then a little hemostat that's in a bag, so that is your wrap cycle. And this is a rubber and like a heavy duty cycle, which we will not be using here at MSU. And then the power indicator, which you Okay, the power indicator again is right here on the front. Don's eyewear and utility gloves. Okay. Demonstrates how to properly load the cassette. So when you're loading the cassette, there are little slots here. So what you want to do is place those vertically in those slots. Um, you do want to be careful though, there is a, ben a vent right here in the rear. Um, so you do want to make sure that when you're placing the bags there that you leave enough room to keep that vent open. Unwrapped instruments in a single layer. Okay, so if you do have a bunch of unwrapped instruments, you just want to make sure that they're laid evenly across there um, and not several layers deep or they will not achieve proper sterilization. Protocol for filling the water reservoir. Okay. So again, your water reservoir is right here. And when we fill the water reservoir, you must use distilled water. So you simply take the jug and then just carefully go ahead and pour it and you can pour it all the way, almost all the way to the top. And when does that get filled? So that will get filled, you, when you, before you run a cycle you should just check to make sure that the water isn't very low or sometimes when you select a cycle you'll get an error message that will tell you that there's not enough water to run that cycle so then you will have to add water at that time. The empty the waste bottle and okay. filling it with to cover the coils. So anytime you add additional water to your reservoir that water needs somewhere to go. So if this water bottle is filled, that's going to create um, some tr problems. So anytime you fill the reservoir, you must empty this bottle. So again, you're just going to screw off the top, and then you'll just dump this into the sink. And then what you must do is you must add some distilled water to the bottom of the waste bottle. Basically just enough to 
cover this coiled round part of that heating element. Okay, so then you'll simply just put it right back in there. And actually, I probably should add just a tiny bit more water. Okay. So once you have enough water to cover that bottom part, just go ahead and screw the top back on. Demonstrates how to select the start cycle. Okay, I'm just going to show you again how to close this one more time. So you go ahead and pinch that close. This arm goes right over the top like that. And then you will slide this in. Now make sure that you don't put this in upside down. Uh, the narrow part is the top and the deep basin part is the bottom. Okay, so then what you to do that, then you just... Push it in until you hear a click. And then again, for the most part, we're going to be selecting a wrap cycle here. So you'd press the cycle that you want, and then you'll go ahead and push the start button. What to do when the cycle is complete? So when the LCD display is cycle complete, remove cassette. So once the cycle is complete, it will say that the cycle has completed um, on the LCD display. So that's how you will know it is done. Then just describe removing the cassette and what to do with the inside. So then once you're done, you can simply just remove the cassette. And then you will keep it on the sterile side of the countertop. And then to open it, just push that arm back. And then lift up on these little bars right here. And then you can go ahead and take your instruments out. So once the instruments have run through the Statum Autoclave, they are clean. So you don't need to wear your utility gloves at this point, and you definitely don't want to take out the sterile instruments with dirty utility gloves. Okay, and what about the dry cycle? And the dry cycle. So once you have run the cycle, the instruments should be all the way dry. Um, once they are have run through that dry cycle and they're completely dry, then they can be put away in the bins. And the safety hazards for the SATOM. So again, the SATOM autoclave uses really high heat. So when you are taking out the cassette and opening it, just be aware that there could be some steam that is let out. And also the contents within the SATOM might be very hot to the touch. So be careful not to burn yourself. Also, when you are emptying or refilling the waste bottle. The heating element in here can be very hot as well as the water. So again, be careful with the hot temperatures.